membership investment in the Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce fuels the initiatives that help us make this a great place to do business. We've been busy over the past month working to increase opportunities for your business to succeed and to create jobs, grow our workforce, and expand investment in the region. I've had a number of opportunities recently to talk with media about the fundamentals of winning the competition for jobs and talent. Fundamentals like being a desirable place to live and increasing our rate of population growth, and investing in people and educational attainment to ensure we're a skills-rich region so we can attract and grow quality, higher-paying jobs. I had a chance to sit down with both KSMU and Ozarks Tonight to take a deeper dive into the ways your chamber is working hard to create an environment for a growing workforce and quality job creation. You can check out the links to both of those stories and interviews below. Congratulations to the five finalists for the W. Curtis Struby Small Business of the Year Award. We had the opportunity to get to know them a little bit better at our recent announcement event at the E-Factory. I can tell you these are some truly innovative companies who have demonstrated tenacity and skill in overcoming challenges and maximizing opportunities for growth. We look forward to hearing more from each of them at our April 4th edition of Good Morning Springfield. That'll be at the Drury University O'Reilly Family Event Center. As the state legislative session progresses, we are keeping a close eye on the issues that impact your business. House of Representatives Minority Leader Representative Crystal Quaid talked with chamber members here recently and provided us with a timely legislative update. There's not as much conversation around small business growth as I would like to see. You know, we we talk about some programming around entrepreneurship and um, increased access, especially for younger students getting out of college, making sure that they have opportunities and want to stay in our community. Communities, um, but we always need more of that and that's where I hope our um, small business leaders can really get engaged in the conversation and why I'm thankful for the Springfield Chamber because you really give them an outlet to engage with us as legislators um, to express what we can be doing to increase job opportunity on the small business level. Continuing their focus on the importance of career education and talent development, Governor Mike Parson and First Lady Teresa Parson visited the Chamber to educate us about the Jobs for America's Graduates program. We learn more about the success of the JAG program here at Studi Alternative High School. JAG is dedicated to increasing graduation rates for students with serious barriers to graduation and employment. There are many opportunities for the business community to engage in this program and you can click the link below to learn more. What a privilege it was to honor our 2019 Athena Award recipient Maury Mecklin. More than 400 guests looked on as we presented Maury with this award, recognizing her service and the way she has empowered so many women leaders in our community and opened up new opportunities for them. It was also a special day as we announced the creation of the Virginia Fry Rising Star Award. This award, which will begin in 2020, will honor a young professional who is already lighting a path for women leaders in our community, just as Virginia did throughout her life. Your business can make a difference in helping to prepare our region's young talent for career success. The GoCaps Teacher Externship Experience helps teachers understand the skills your company's need, as well as showing them the full spectrum of career opportunities available here for their students in different industries. Businesses participating will have teachers on site shadowing employees and learning more about skills needed for success in high demand jobs. If you think you would like to be a part of these summer sessions by opening your doors to area teachers, just click the link below for details. And these are just some of the ways in which your chamber membership is helping to improve the business climate and spur the creation of new jobs jobs and business investment in the region. Thank you once again for being a part of the Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce and helping make this a great community in which to live.